8.25 in the morning I'm on this. Saturday morning, June 7th, 2014. Saturday morning, time now for the Water Magician PJ Wheels, the Water Report. Saturday morning, June 7th, 2014. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. This lovely Saturday morning, our congratulations at 25 in the morning time in North Massachusetts at 68 degrees. Our temperature humidity is 65, 63% wind speed variable. 5 miles per hour, 12 to 9, 2 inches, 2 point 55 degrees. Fair skies and visibility of 10 miles. You must know. Let's take a look at our radar's short video shows. A couple of batches of rain showers in central portions of New Brunswick and north central portions of Nova Scotia and eastern portions of Quebec. And rain shots of western portions of eastern portion of Prince Edward Island off the western portions of Prince Edward Island. <coughs> Some rain shots off the Carolina, Georgia, and northern Florida coastline. Rain shots of central portions of Georgia, northern portions of South Carolina, and rain shots of south central portions of Mississippi. <coughs> And some shots of storms in northern Texas, western Oklahoma, and the northeastern portion of New Mexico. And bands of shots of storms from central and western portions of Missouri, stretching in eastern Kansas, up in eastern Nebraska, and stretching out eastern South Dakota, and up in the Minnesota, western portions of Wisconsin, and some rain shots of central portions of western portions of South Dakota, and up in western portions of Nebraska. <laughs> And some rain showers in north central portions of Idaho, north western portions of Montana, and stretch over the south central, east central, and central portions of British Columbia. Some rain showers in north central portions of Montana, down up in the southeast of southern part of Alberta, north and east, northeast of the north western portions of Alberta, down in Saskatchewan, down in south central portions of Manitoba. They're inspected by a certified tech. Sturgis, Kentucky. Good morning. 69 degrees with clear skies here. It's a great warranty. That's my kind of used car. There's used, then there's Honda certified. Uh -huh. So I sell for less than Let's take a look at our satellite loop. Shows a couple of batch clouds covering these. Go back in the Atlantic Canada. Batch clouds off the Carolina Search and Alpha in Central Florida and Bet Patch Clouds from Western Carolina South in Georgia. Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana and Search and Alpha to be valid and up in Ontario and Western Wisconsin. <coughs> and a batch clouds from Oklahoma and Northern Texas. <laughs> Our moms are Patrick Clouds from the Dakotas down from Nebraska to down from Central Colorado, Utah to down Nevada. And back to Patrick Clouds from Western Oregon to up in Washington to down from British Columbia. And back to Patrick Clouds from Central Montana to down from Alberta, Saskatchewan to down from Manitoba. Okay, let us take a look at our map situation here. Stage 3 front down from Washington, Oregon to down Idaho. And a cold front from Utah. With a station from, from Washington down to Colorado and a cold front from New Mexico searching into Texas and searching up to Kansas and up to Iowa down from Wisconsin and up in Ontario. Right. Station front from Arkansas searching out to Mississippi, Alabama, down to Georgia and cold front up to sea. High pressure in the eastern Great Lakes and western South Dakota and low pressure in northern California and western Mexico, western Texas, northern Arizona and Oklahoma and off the Florida coast side. 65 degrees at temperature in Boston, 67 in Washington, D.C., 70 in Atlanta, 77 in Miami and Brownsville, Dallas, Texas, 68 in Kansas City, 58 in Chicago, 57 in Minneapolis, 50 in Great Falls, Montana, 57 in Seattle, 53 in San Francisco, 61 out in Los Angeles, 68 in Albuquerque, 59 in Salt Lake City, and 46 in Denver, Colorado. Current conditions, man, region, we got 69 degrees temperature in Boston, 50. Sperg got 68 degrees, 65 in Bedford, 66 in Beverly, 61 in Gloucester, 63 in Western Milford, 64 in Webster, 56 in Sturbridge, 67 in Norwood, and in Bedford, 68 in Taunton, 64 in Falmouth, 66 in Chatham, 63 in Palm Sound, 68 in Marsville, 65 in Nantucket, 60 in Cape Cod Bay, 63 in Wesley, 63 in Balkan, 67 in Wesley, 63 in Smithfield, 67 in Springfield, 57 in Amherst, 56 in Greenfield, 60 in Pittsfield, 54 in North Amherst, 61 in Albany, 59 in Bayton, 54 in Brattleboro, 57 in Keene. 6 4 in Jeffrey, 6 7 in Nashua, 6 4 in Manchester, 6 5 in Concord, 6 8 in Portsmouth, 6 1 in Drafter Bay, 6 5 in Winslock, 6 in Hartford, 6 4 in Meriden, 6 3 in Their Haven, 6 3 in Waterbury, 6 5 in Danbury, 6 8 in Bridgeport, 6 8 out in Lagasad, 6 8 in New York, 6 5 in Islamabad, 6 3 out in Montauk. 
Yeah. Okay, let us <coughs> let's take a look at our short place Bible discussion. Heavy rain and severe storms for the central plain. High quality of for the north central United States and heat wave for the desert southwest. An active weather pattern is forecast for the two across the central plain to the deep south with a stationary front and pace throughout the weekend. The disturbance is off along with abundance of moisture and insulated pace. Are expected in this result of an enjoyable and mutable measles skill. Cut back to the of the MCS as they will be capable of producing low class flash flooding and severe weather with very warm and humid conditions extended into the. Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the Texas and other will provide an environment favorable for scattered numerous showers and storms, but mainly during the day. After the day, needs across the northern plains and the upper Midwest, much cooler area has arrived by the passage cold front of Canada. This quality air mass by June standards by featuring cool, crisp mornings and mild afternoons, and a few shots will be possible over the western quarters and the environment of Montana on Saturday, but it's a be dry. Farther to the east, towards the upper Midwest, out the showers and storms with a cold front moves out of the area. Elsewhere across the country, the United States, the West Coast is expected to stay dry for the weekend with no weather disturbances expected to affect the wet region. <coughs> really it will be very hot for the desert southwest with high temperatures upwards of 10 degrees, but a lower elevation is at the south of California, Nevada, and Arizona. Here. Here, it's going to bring in air from the north. <coughs> Forecast discussion in New England here. Dry conditions warmer than normal temperatures this week and a few shots thus so as possible much of the next week, but the majority of the period will be featured dry weather and seasonally warm temperatures. Clouds are morning across 78 wooded temperatures in the 50s and near 60 at 60 along with a comfortable dew points in the 50s at clear skies and this morning will give way to scattered to broken cloud as a huge response to mid-level cyclone flow combined with a moderate cool total off. Therefore, a real nice temperature. With temps coming to 85 and mid-level in the 70s along the shores. Previous forecast captures these. Details that's so only just for what's to modify currently temperatures at two points to better reflect current observations. All right, thank you, Kelly. We begin with breaking news from South Kingstown where police are investigating a fatal motorcycle accident. And let's take a look at the section of Kingstown Road and Wake Corner Road and 145 this morning. Let's go on the New Hampshire Hurricane Center website with the rider located in dense brush several feet away. He was pronounced dead. And Service observations, satellite imagery indicate that low pressure area previously near Veracruz, Mexico has moved far inland and it's dissipated. However, the remnants of the system could continue to produce gusty winds every rain along with some black, fretted, and flush floods and mudslides. Over ports of the southeastern and eastern Mexico during the next day, too, and formation change threat for yes, low near 0%, and formation change threat by days, low near 0%. And investigation has determined the accident happened. When one of the track a risk of rip tides low from this government bay from coast of Island and the horse tech meet should have coast of Mars video net tech and that's it. How do you keep the out of the up to the south shore and up to the Boston Army and up in the north shore? We'll have a risk of low whip currents and, and about the sunshine today. 85 Midland and 78 beaches only should temperatures only at 50 so up. Beautiful weekend on tap. <laughs> Let's take a look at our maps. Let's take a look outside. And oh, it's a beautiful morning. A beautiful morning over the reservoir. Okay, let's take a look at our seven day forecast that goes like this. And Town Neck Beach in Sandwich, Wednesday. The victim was a black male about six feet tall and weighed about 220 pounds. The body had no head no limbs. For today, we are going to have some nice skies high about 82 degrees west with about 6 miles apart. Today, mostly cloud skies are gradually becoming clear skies, low to 80 degrees south with about 5 miles apart before it becoming calm. Sunday, nice skies high to 84 degrees, calm with becoming west with about 6 miles apart in the afternoon. Saturday night, hot cloud skies low to 61 degrees south with about 6 and 9 miles apart. Monday, most of the nice skies high to 81 degrees southwest with about 5 and 8 miles apart. Monday night, Slight chance of showers after 11 p.m. Most clouds got low 58 degrees. Chance of precipitation 20 percent. Tuesday, chance of showers before 2 p.m. Most of the clouds got higher. Tuesday, 2 degrees. Chance of precipitation 40 percent. Tuesday night, most of the clouds got low 57 degrees. Wednesday, parts of the sky got higher. 75 degrees. Wednesday night, most of the clouds got low 54 degrees. Thursday, parts of the sky got higher. 73 degrees. Friday night, most of the clouds got low 59 degrees. For Friday, chance of showers. Most of the clouds got higher. 74 degrees. Chance of precipitation 30 percent. Pairs. What a phrase of the day. Oh. Saturday, a warm weekend attack. <coughs> Investigators are patrolling the neighborhood hoping. <coughs> yes. Okay, let's take a look at our traffic situation. Everything is smooth sailing around the highways by with Massachusetts connected right on Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. That's BJ with you. Have a good day with a good positive attitude here.